When I say happy holidays, you say, oh yeah. Happy holidays, oh yeah. <laughs> that, that's what the Kool-Aid man would say. If he saw this amazing Kool-Aid branded candy cane. Hey everyone, hope your uh, holidays are going well. If you are on holidays right now, if it's like the middle of summer, then hey, just check it out. It's a Kool-Aid candy cane. I'm recording this around the holidays of 2023 and I saw this in the store and I thought, I'm just gonna go for it, why not? I have seen, on occasion, some Kool-Aid candy. Yes, it's not that common, but you do see it. I mean, it's a craft brand, like it's there, it's a good IP, still got a nostalgia factor, a great mascot, of course. Even though I think Kool-Aid in and of itself has really, you know, people just don't, just don't drink it like they did way back in the day, in the, in the 60s and 70s, I suppose. I'll say this, when I was in college, I drank a lot of Kool-Aid. Actually, really after college, right when I was in, well, no, it was when I was in college. Maybe it was, after, maybe it was when I moved to San Francisco. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I used to live in San Francisco and I used to drink Kool-Aid a lot. And I had this great poster on my wall where I had like various packets of Kool-Aid that I had collected um, and I had like mounted them. It looked really good. But then when I moved from San Francisco to uh, like Toronto area where I live now, I uh, they, the poster got all the the you know the mounting got all messed up when the move and they all, anyway, I never put it back together unfortunately. But also I stopped really drinking Kool Aid because my God, so much sugar. It's just it's just the regular recipe for Kool Aid calls for so much sugar. But I really have a strong affinity for Kool Aid. I love the graphic design. I love the branding. I love the history of it. It's really cool. Just one of the things that really got me into sort of pop nostalgia food stuff um, is Kool-Aid. Like, I always sort of just really gravitated towards this uh, design work and this branding. I've never reviewed anything Kool-Aid on the channel. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and find some of those packages when I eventually review something else. Um, but I've seen, obviously, I've seen Kool-Aid gummies on the shelf. I've seen Kool-Aid uh, strips, dippers. I just saw Kool-Aid jelly beans yesterday, like yesterday, literally, for the first time. It was a jelly, they had like a regular jelly bean and then a sour jelly bean. You know, I mean, why not? Like I said, great brand, and why not? Um, this is uh, one of those, I was gonna say cheap, but like, these things are not cheap. You've seen them though, around the holiday season, you get Skittles branded, uh, you know, um, branded uh, candy canes, you get Sour Patch Kid branded candy canes, you get uh, Warheads, I think, have branded candy canes. I've gotten, I think for the last two or three years, we got a packet of the like regular size, like five or six of the Sour Patch Kid candy canes. We put those up on our tree. We have a tree in our house. Um, and uh, the kids love them. It's, Sour Patch Kids is my wife's favorite candy. So we'll go for that. But uh, this big one, <laughs> this is like novelty. I don't know, would you really put this up on your tree? We're not gonna, we're just gonna eat it right here. So of course this is a, uh, and so so like I was saying, sorry, this was like probably three, four, four dollars maybe even Canadian. So kind of pricey. And they had it right beside, what was the other one they had it right beside? It was another big one. Oh my God, what was it? I can't remember now. Anyway, if it comes to me, I'll tell you. Uh, this is a cherry flavored candy cane. There's the Kool-Aid man. Uh, yeah, artificially flavored, no duh. <laughs> He's got a snowball. He's like looking at it like, oh, snow, I love it. Um, candy cane, cherry, uh, yes. Whoa, warning, choking hazard. Small parts, what are the parts? It's a candy cane. Okay, don't give this to kids, I guess. Nutrition facts, ingredients, sugar, yep. Yeah. And uh, Kool-Aid, I think I got this at, uh, at the Walmart is where I got it. Yes, it was at the Walmart. Can I get into it? Oh my God. Let's give this a try. Oh. This feels like the kind of thing you get at a dollar store. Like it, I, I know it wasn't cheap, relatively speaking, but like it feels pretty cheap. What is this? What is this for? Like I wanna put something else in here. Maybe they had this packaging for something else? Could be, could be. Okay, now it's like vacuum sealed. <laughs> no. So this is what you would, I guess, you could put this on the on the tree and then it would stay relatively fresh. Is that, what is, is that the Kool-Aid man on there? What is that? Oh, so they're cherries, okay. Is that just on the wrapper though? I bet that's just on the wrapper. Oh, oh, give me one second, guys. Let me see if I can grab a, I don't have scissors here. 
I got a, what is this? I got a claw hammer and I got a pair of tweezers. I can cut this with tweezers. I can do that. They're like sharp. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm using tweezers to cut this. Because why not? I mean, it's either this or the claw hammer. I don't know where the scissors are. It worked. It worked. Okay, great. Put those down. And then here we go. So it doesn't have the cherries on it. That's just the packaging. That's a little disappointing. Maybe I should have left some of that on. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, there you go. There's your ma massive, honestly, too big, too big. Would you put these on your tree? If you have a tree at home, would you put these on your Christmas tree? I, I don't think I would. Too much, right? I don't know. How do people eat candy canes? I always put them on the tree and then I just leave them there until the end of after the season and then I eat, then I eat them. Or do you guys not put them on your tree at all? Let's uh, let's let's give it a try. So the question is does it taste like cherry Kool-Aid? Cuz cherry Kool-Aid very distinct flavor, right? Very distinct. This um so far absolutely does not. This tastes, does this even taste cherry? <laughs> I guess it does. I'm gonna try and break some of it off. Oh. Just making sure my teeth are all there. Yeah, it's actually not that hard. All right. I'm gonna put that down. Hmm, okay. So, it does taste like cherry. Hundred thousand percent does not taste like Kool-Aid. <laughs> it only barely tastes like cherry at all. Oh. Yeah. It's really sticky too. Or it's not good for my dental work. Hmm. Sigh, sigh, sigh. This is not good. I guess, I don't know what I was thinking. This is, like I said, this is the kind of thing you would expect to see at a dollar store. And uh, it lives up to that expectation. Not, not tasty. I don't even like, like, if you took it out of the package and you put it on your tree, it would have the cherries on it. You would lose all of the branding of the Kool-Aid man. The thing that I think that you would do with this, throw this in as a stocking stuffer in the packaging to a kid. They might really like that. Or to an adult, I guess, who, you know, has like a nostalgia factor for Kool-Aid like I do. As it is, though, actually eating it. <laughs> barely disappointing. God. I would so much rather be eating a regular peppermint candy cane. Um, chomping it up, I taste the cherry. I do taste the cherry. Never, ever would I suggest, oh, that's a Kool-Aid cherry taste. Tastes like, I don't know. It does, it tastes like cheap, cheap cherry. Just, I, I wouldn't pick that out of a lineup at all. Um, so I don't think that it does a great job in evoking Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid man, the Kool-Aid flavor, really. Um, I think if you're a cherry fan, it's super mild until you crunch it up. That was actually, the, crunching it up was actually the best part of it. But still, like that was the most cherry flavoring I got and probably the closest to the Kool-Aid experience. But uh, still, it doesn't hit even close to the same as like Kool-Aid or, and I'll tell you, I haven't had the other Kool-Aid products, but I a thousand percent imagine that a Kool-Aid gummy would taste or have the opportunity to taste far more like actual Kool-Aid than this does. So I do not think that they did a great job with this. Um, 
I mean, you know what I saw on shelves? It wasn't Kool-Aid gummies. It wasn't Kool-Aid uh, jelly beans. It was Jello jelly beans. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Both brands sit in my mind in the same place in a way. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't think that this is worth it. I think that maybe as like a kind of kitschy sort of like, hey, throw it in to the stocking stuffer. Yeah, okay. But like, don't have high expectations for actually eating it. So whatever that means to you, take that as it will. Uh, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate the Kool-Aid Cherry Candy Cane a two out of five. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. It's edible, I guess. I don't think I'm going to eat anymore, but I think, uh, I think maybe someone might like it. Um, and I like the graphic design and the packaging. And I like the, I guess I see how you could use this as a, as a, a gift idea. But um, the practical application of this is... Just terrible. So uh, two out of five, that's my take. Uh, what do you think? Have you had this? And are there other like nostalgia brands like Kool-Aid, maybe like Jell-O, that uh, hit you in a way where when you see it on the self store shelf, it just kind of makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside? I think I've got a few of those, certainly growing up in the 80s and 90s um, as, a, as a Gen X kid. <laughs> like I've definitely got some of those, uh, some of those things. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great holiday season as we uh, dive deeper into that time of year. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. So long.